Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier, and welcome to part 7 of the big old Tiger 1 tank build. Well, as you could probably see, we've got the base camo finally completed. Now it's time to start the really fun stuff, the weathering, the mud. And today what we're going to work on is the mudding up of the, uh, of the hull. Let's get started. Okay, I've got the tank propped up on a coffee cup just due to the weight of this particular piece. Um, and I'd recommend maybe some kind of more formal jig, but this is going to work for the video today. So I've started to get in some pre-mudding effects, but we definitely need to add some more. So I'm going to be using the Vallejo Dark Earth, which again is the matte medium mixed with a bit of coloring and some grit to give you a really nice mud texture and I'm putting it in a little palette here and I'm going to add some MIG pigment to that just to slightly vary the tone and we're just going to start dabbing it in to represent the mud that would been have kicked up by the tracks. Now a lot of this course is going to be covered by the wheels but we still want to show some of this and like with a lot of modeling you know when you're doing a custom interior or something you know it's there even if you know none of the people that look at it would ever ever happen to see it. Now again this, t this stuff takes a little while to dry which is great meaning that you can add pigments to it as you go. So we want to get just kind of a nice rough coverage and then again just kick it up into here. For me this is absolutely the most fun in modeling is the weathering. It takes a lot of time but you can be extremely creative. There is not any specific rules you have to follow other than trying to make it look realistic. I do recommend if you've got any road projects or construction projects around where you live, get out your digital camera and photograph some of the tractors and assorted things to see how real mud collects. Okay little bit more up here. There, now again it's we've got this really nice mud texture not too heavy because I'm not going to be setting this tank in a muddy scenario so we're gonna add a little bit of pigment and again when you're working with pigments especially in this scale try to make sure that you have the, uh, the area uh, safely covered so you don't get this stuff all over the place because again this stuff really can cause a mess. Now as you see I'm using a lighter color pigment it's actually the uh, the rubble dust from MIG and you can see how we're changing the tone of that mud we just applied and by using different colored pigments we continue to vary that. Now when some of this dries, I'm going to go back in, even with paint, and do some splatter effects. Okay, now a few more pigments, uh, Europe dust and beach sand, a little bit lighter tones, which we're just going to, to brush in here, showing the effect of mud that has already, already dried. And again, you could be a little bit loose here because we're going to brush a lot of this off. You can see we're just kind of just dabbing it in there. Again, this is fun. You're just making a mess. Uh, okay. A little bit more of that up into here. Now. I'm going to wipe this brush off and let's start pulling this pigment down. 
giving it a very realistic streaking effect. So you can see that. Yeah, just keep playing around with it. I mean, that's that's the again, that's the fun of this. I hope for you. A little bit more right in there. You know, let your eye be your guide. A little pure pigment there. Okay, let's add some oil and grease stains. Okay, now we're going to apply some of the oil and grease stain mixture again from Mig Productions. Now on the upper hull. <clears throat> and the turret we're going to be using many of the AK products but I have been using this product for quite some time and I really like the effect it dries to a very glossy finish and we're just going to streak streak it down and apply some here again now with repeated applications you can really vary the intensity of this product. Now this is an enamel based product. It's like a very good product. like it very much. And so just a little bit around here. And why I'm working on this I wanted to give a big shout out to the gentleman who's created all these videos. Kevin Alford. He's moving to Japan. We want to wish him the best of luck. He's done a fantastic job for us and he's going to be truly missed. So good luck Kevin. Tear him up in the land of the rising sun. So have fun with your project, your Tiger project. <clears throat> this has been Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier on YouTube.